This is a bird's eye view of Worcester itself and it's pretty easy to pick out the cricket ground. It's right up here at the top of the picture and obviously it's next to the River Severn which is the cause of all this trouble. And if you follow the River Severn down, not that far, you come to Diglis. And here there's a river level monitoring station. So we can dive into the historical data from that station and get a pretty good idea of how often the Severn has been flooding new roads. So, this is the last 10 years of data. There's lots going on, let me take you through it. The blue line is just the height of the River Severn itself. As you might expect, it goes up in the winter and then drops down again in summer. Typically, the river level is around 2.8 metres. That's this green line here. This red line, though, that's the warning level. Above here, you get flooding and you'll need a small boat to get out to the wicket. So what's been the trend over the last decade? Well, let's have a look. We can see there were floods in 2014, that's here, and then again in 2016, when the blue line just goes above the red. And then nothing till, well, 2020. And then you get flooding every single year after that. The trend then is definitely for more flooding, but that's not all. Because if we zoom into the last three years of data, and you see we don't just have more floods, we we have floods that are lasting longer. These peaks are wider, the, the water's sitting on the pitch for longer. So to sum up, the floods are more common and they're doing more damage and taking longer to recover from. In the end, as the climate changes, there comes a limit to what we can do to protect ourselves by building barriers and defences. And New Road is already at that point. It's too big and too close to the river to really construct anything to hold back the Severn when it floods. In the end, moving may well be the only choice available to them, and they won't be alone. Others will follow their example as we continue to deal with the impact of climate change.